Bruchem Aboyim, thank you very much for coming. Tonight we're going to talk about uh, one of the most important um, organs in the body, the heart. In fact, uh, someone, if they do an aut autopsy on someone who is starved to death, when they open up a person, all of the uh, organs are small, except for the heart and the brain. The body takes care of both of those. Those are essential for life. Again, the heart being one of them. So what is the heart? The heart is a muscular organ in, in most animals, which pumps blood through the blood vessels of the circulatory system. It is approximately the size of a fist. Blood provides the body with oxygen and nutrients, as well as assisting in the removal of metabolic waste. In humans, the heart is located between the lungs and the middle compartment of the chest. Now, there are many expressions that relate to the heart heartbreak, heartache, heartless. So metaphorically, there are many connections to the heart. We think of the heart as being connected to emotion and the brain connected to logic. So love is an emotion that we feel which originates in the heart. There's a verse in a song that goes, what's love have to do with it? In Judaism, everything. We are commanded in the first line of the Shema, V'yahavta es Hashem Elokecha, you shall love the Lord your God. Our mission in life is to try to reach that level of loving God, much as a child loves his father. The Shema continues with the words, Bechol levavacha, with all your heart. But the word levavacha is plural. The singular word for heart is lave. So the question is, why plural? We have a belief based on Tanya, again the Magnus Opus written by the Alter Rebbe, that the body is called a ear cut in a small city. And just as two kings would wage war over a city, each wanting to capture the city and rule over it, so too there are two souls, the godly soul and the animal soul, each one warring with the other over the rule of the body and all its organs and limbs. The abode of the animal soul is in the left ventricle of the heart, which is filled with blood, as it states, for the blood is the soul, dam huan nefesh. So emotions such as lust and boasting, anger, and similar passions are located in the heart, and from there they spread out throughout the entire body. The godly soul resides in the brain, and from there it extends to all the organs of the body, including the right ventricle of the heart, where there is no blood. That is as written in Kohelas 10.2, 10, uh, the heart of, of the wise man is on the right, and that of a fool is on his left. This is alluded to with the pregnancy of Rivka, our mother. She was experiencing great pain and discomfort, and she felt that something was wrong, out of the, out of the order, ordinary. And so she went to seek God. And the response she received from the prophet was, there are two nations in your womb, and two people will separate from your innards, and nation over nation shall strengthen itself. So, in a sense, this fact applies to every Jew at any time. Every person senses that there are two children struggling within him. Each person is made up of two personalities, each striving in a different direction, and frequently in opposition to one another. The problem is that there is no compromise. Each wants total domination of the person. Each is constantly trying to encroach upon the domain of the other. In this world, as long as a person lives, he cannot experience tranquility. At times, one can reach a temporary, so to speak, ceasefire. But achieving complete and true inner peace is never possible. There is a permanent struggle that goes on within each person. Life is a war. Battles are fought daily. Sometimes the side of evil dominates, other times the side of good. But as long as a person is alive, the war will continue. Now, the heart is the only, only internal organ in the body that you can feel. The heart is similar to a drum beating out a cadence that the person marches to. Different experiences cause the beat to change. Fear, apprehension, worry, anxiety, love, even joy. 
When these emotions take over, we can actually feel our heart beating in our chest. Our heart tells us where our head is. Many times when we are challenged or frightened, our body releases adrenaline and our heart begins to race. The heart is a muscle that pumps blood throughout the body. The stronger the heart, the fewer times that it has to beat to pump fresh blood throughout the body. Exercise becomes key to good health, good heart health. Building up the strength of the heart means that it has to work less to keep the blood flowing. This is also true on a spiritual level. The heart is the seat of emotion. Blood is connected with passion. A hot-blooded person is one who is consumed with passion. Passion is a neutral emotion. And it can be used for both positive and negative. It takes strength of character to be able to overcome or at least diminish one's animal's desires in order to rule over your emotions rather than have them rule over you. One must exercise their spiritual muscle to take control of the animal soul that resides within all of us. As it states in Pirkei Avot, chapter 4, Mishnah number 1, Benzoma said, Ezu Gibor, who is a strong person? Hakovesh es Yitzro, who, one who subdues his evil inclination, as it states in Mishle 1632, Humoshel Berucho Malokate Ish, probably Malokate Ir, excuse me, and he who masters his passions is better than one who conquers a city. Life can be compared to a heart monitor. As long as there are peaks and valleys, you're healthy. If the line goes straight across, straight lining, then you're dead. The only way that we can enjoy the peaks, happiness, is by contrasting them to the valleys, the difficulties, the challenges of life. The lower the valley, the higher the peaks are, the more joy we experience. God and his Torah are all about love. The first letter in the Torah is a Bez, Bereshit, and the last letter in the Torah is a Lamed, Yisrael. Together, Lamed and Bez spell, spell the word Lev, Lev, heart, or love. If you reverse the order of the letters, it spells the word Baal, master. That one should be the master of his heart, his emotions, rather than have his emotions rule over him. Rabbi Akiva stated the most important verse in the Torah is that you should love your neighbor as yourself. In fact, the Arizal instituted that one should begin his morning prayers, Shacharit, with the affirmation of this declaration in the name Kabbalah Mitzvah Sasei Shalahaft Mocha, that I accept upon myself the positive commandment to love my fellow person as myself. Now, the, the mat gematri of the words, the Ahafta Lereyacho Kamocha, you should love your neighbor as yourself, is 907. The same as the words, Viahafta Esa Shemalokecha, and you shall love the Lord your God. Everything, everything in life is connected to love in one form or another. Now, the high priest, the Kohen Gadol, wore a garment called an aphod, a sort of apron, and from it hung the choshen, the breastplate. As the verse in the book of Ayikra in the portion of Tetzavah 28.30 says, the Nasu Aaron es Mishpat b'nei Yisrael al libo. And Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Israel upon his heart. It was worn as an atonement for the sin of idol worship. The sin of showing love to a deity other than God Almighty himself. Using the attribute of love improperly. Now the aphod is connected to the heart. It has the word aphod as a gematria of 85, the same Gamatri is the word pa, which means mouth. An illusion that one's heart and mouth should be connected. And when they are connected, there is the ability of peace between people. When they are not, peace cannot exist. We see this scenario with Yosef and his brothers. The verse in the book of Bereshit, 37, 4 states, The Yisnu, Oto, and they began to hate him, and they could not speak to him in peace. Therefore, there was no love, 
and they were able to sell him as a slave to Egypt. The heart is also connected to the hand. When you want to check someone's heartbeat, you take his hand and feel for a pulse. This is also an allusion to the act of giving charity. Giving with the hand is not enough. One receives six mitzvot for giving someone charity, for giving him money. However, one receives an additional 11 mitzvot for giving with an open and loving heart. Six plus 11, 17. The gematria of the word tov, good. All that we do in this world is connected to love and our purpose and connection to God. In fact, the mitzvot have no purpose, material or spiritual, beyond the single aim of attachment to God Almighty. And let us pray that we can connect our hearts to our service of God with love and enthusiasm. And with that, may we merit to herald in the coming of Mashiach Tzikenu quickly and in our time.